Welcome, here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. Russia massively attacks Ukraine in latest round of raids. Russia launched at least 76 missiles at Ukrainian energy facilities and other infrastructure in its latest wave of deadly attacks that have caused widespread power outages across the country. The bombardment on Friday hit at least four cities, killing at least two people in the central city of Krivi Rih. Meanwhile, one person died in the southern Kherson region, where an apartment block caught fire from shelling that preceded the missile strikes, according to regional authorities. Later in the day, Ukraine's top general said the country's air defense had taken out 60 of the incoming missiles fired at critical infrastructure. The latest attacks came after top Ukrainian officials on Thursday warned of a renewed offensive by Russia in the new year, which could possibly include a novel ground offensive on Kyiv such as the one repelled in the early days of the war. Ukraine grid operator lifts state of emergency at declared after attacks. Ukrainian power grid operator Ukrainergo has lifted the state of emergency it declared earlier in the day after Russian missile strikes cut nationwide energy consumption by more than 50 percent, it said in a statement. A senior Ukrainian official said earlier that emergency power shutdowns were being brought in across the country after Russian missiles hit energy facilities in several regions. Swiss government adopts EU price cap. The Swiss government is adopting further sanctions in line with the EU's latest measures on Russian crude oil and petroleum products, the cabinet said. The additional sanctions ban the transportation of Russian oil and petroleum sold above the price cap introduced earlier this month to trade and broker services. Switzerland's government said on December 8 that it would adopt the price cap of $60 per barrel for Russian crude oil. The additional sanctions came into force on Friday evening. And Croatia rejects EU mission of supporting Ukraine's military. Croatian politicians have rejected a proposal that they should join an EU mission supporting the Ukrainian military after hours of debate reflecting deep divisions between the premier and the country's president. A majority was needed to agree on the proposal that would have included allowing up to 100 Ukrainian troops to be trained in Croatia over the next two years. President Zoran Milanovic, who is the supreme commander of the Croatian Armed Forces, opposed the plan.